I look at AI not as artificial intelligence, but as augmented intelligence. Um, and that's, that's a fundamental, uh, I think, philosophical direction that we took where we are complementing people's intelligence with machines that have aspects of um, the intelligent um, problem-solving capabilities that together the person and the machine can do way better than one or the other. And we've seen right. that uh, from IBM. You've, there's various products that you're rolling out, whether it's uh, 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 Watson analysis of legal documents yeah. or of financial statements or yeah. of uh, radiology records. And oncology, you know, there's a nice 60-minute uh, segment on, um, on, on Watson for oncology, which is really great from right. a few weeks ago. Okay, so um, does this obviate our need for doctors as we know them then in the future, whether, whether it's IBM or anyone else? No, I don't think so. Seriously, it's, uh, it's really, um, you know, think about a radiologist since you brought that up, right? You, you don't want a person that's highly skilled, creative, problem-solving type to be stuck in a in a dark room looking at images all day long, you want the the well, routine. Well, if it's part. your image, you do. <laughs> well, I would actually <laughs> like the person to use Watson to look at the image and then make a judgment call based on what Watson advises them uh, about what to do in terms of my treatment, given my preferences, my social structures, and so forth. So I would actually like the radiologist and Watson to work together. That, that makes thing. the doctor sound more like the baggage checker at the airport than uh, the no, doctor, I, which might, be, might lead, yield to better outcomes. No, it just actually, changes yeah. the role of the doctor. I think there is the, you know, we talked about the judgment side of it, right. uh, and there's the value side of it. There's also the common sense side of it, and there's, you know, the psych psychological elements of it, which, um, are very, very difficult to incorporate into a machine. At the end of the day, I think even legally, um, the liability and the um, expectation of interaction all sits with the person, mm -hmm. the doctor. And I think the decision support system um, will have to take away the complicated and the routine work that the person probably cannot keep up with, mm -hmm. given the demand, you know, radiologists, right? We have 200,000 radiologists. We probably need five times that it just in this country. So how do you scale these radiologists to do that kind of work? I think systems like Watson that can support them can do it way better than Stephen, do you believe that, that uh, augmented intelligence, as Guru describes, makes us more human or somehow makes us just well, the subject to just the whims of make the machine? Comment on, on this. I mean, yes. you know, been interested in medical diagnosis and, you know, Medical diagnosis is hard for humans. It's actually getting harder for humans as there are more and more specialties and so on. And also as sensor-based medicine comes in, you know, there are huge streams of data. A bunch of people use our technology stack to, to analyze these kinds of things and try and figure things out about them. Um, my own feeling is, uh, you know, in terms of the, the issues of machine diagnosis, are, it is a definitely good thing to do. Um, it's uh, the main issue is data sets and a lot of policy issues around what kind of data sets one can really get access to, how should one use those relative, you know, what's the public good versus private harm, these kinds of things.